Hey, what's good? I'm professional coach Colin Castell, and today I'm gonna give you four unstoppable combo moves that you need to add to your game. All right, combo moves are one of the best things that you can add to your game because it's a great way to set up your defender and then kill them with that second move. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you four combos that you need to add to your game because they're that valuable. Also, if you're new here and you wanna increase your scoring average, all you gotta do is click the top link in the description down below and get free access to my Insta Buckets workout. This is a quick five minute workout that I put together to help turbocharge your scoring average. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. 100% free, top link in the description down below. So the first combo we're gonna work on is the push crossover pullback. So basically we're hitting a crossover first to a pullback second. Now this works great if your defender's starting to bring a little space uh, or starting to take away some of your space. So as Tanner starts to come up, he's gonna take a little space. What I'm gonna do is instead of just a normal Normal crossover what a lot of people are working on or a lot of people are waiting for so a lot of times when defenders are playing me want you sit down and stance here Tanner kind of get a low hand right a lot of the times defenders have their hand low so when you cross over they're ready for it right so the first part of this combo is gonna be a push cross so on my live dribble I'm gonna pocket it high by my armpit and I'm gonna push over the top of his hand so obviously you don't want to use this if they have a high hand here or if his off hands high right here this is not the time I want to push cross over the top right so we want to see where his hand level is if it's low I'm gonna push it over the top because once I do what's he gonna do he's gonna open up hard to run with it and that's when our second combo comes which is that we're gonna yank low pull it back below our knees that way we get our separation we can shoot it if he recovers we can drive it all that sort of good stuff now the main keys to this are number one on the first combo don't palm the ball a lot of players will do this, they'll pocket it here, and then they'll throw it over the top, carry, they'll get you for it every time, right? So make sure that as you float this up by your armpit, you're keeping your hand on top or on the back, so when you push over, it's not gonna be a carry. Key number two is on that pullback, we wanna throw our shoulders and stab our foot into the ground. So if I throw here, I wanna drop my shoulders, stab my front foot, and yank it back, because as soon as I drop my shoulders and stab that foot, it's gonna make him think that I'm going hard to the basket, he's gonna turn hard to run with me, right? So make sure that if you throw it, Stab those foot, stab those shoulders, get down in this attack position, whip it low to get that separation, that space for the easy look. All right, next combo we got is an in and out wrap behind the back. Now this one's a little bit tempo. You don't have to do the in and out fast. Sometimes it's to lull them to sleep and make them think they can stab at the ball. So if I've got Tanner up here, in and out wrap all starts with the first move where I'm just gonna wrap the ball around my top leg. Now the key here is after I wrap it, I wanna hang it out front right here and then I wanna see what he does with it. The great thing about this combo is you don't even need to make it a combo if they don't play it right if I hit this in and out wrap and he stays there ooh, I can go the same direction and beat him to the outside but most likely the combos that's gonna happen is as I wrap he's gonna stab with his outside foot towards the ball and then I'm going to wrap a behind the back and go by him right here it's all about footwork so it's totally up to what's comfortable for you a lot of people like to do a kick step so as I go through I can kick step my feet through or some people like to cross step right so as I come through I can cross step and run with it it totally works what, what works best for your own personality and your own game. But the whole key here is we want to read him on this combo. Once I hit this wrap, I don't want to commit to anything right out of the gate. I want to pocket this uh, dribble a little bit higher. If he stays where he's at, I can explode by. If he jumps it, boom, I can behind the back, get to the rack for that easy look. All right, so the next combo we've got is the cross jab spin. This is a great way to set him up going one direction, spin back opposite. A spin move is an incredible combo move because most of the time if you can get a defender moving, the spin number one can seal them behind you and number two, get your top foot by there. So the cross jab all starts with, a lot of times this works best in transition if you got a little head of steam coming at you. You can drop the cross this direction and then I'm going to cross step my foot towards the inside. So I'm going drop, cross step. So now I've got my inside shoulder against his chest here. The key here is we're gonna hang the ball out just a little bit on that cross. So as he starts to try to slide up the line and get it, boom, I'm gonna spin off of him and go to the basket. Again, just like the last combo, it's all about reading him, right? If I hit this cross jab and he gives me this lane, boom, I'm gonna continue on and get all the way to the basket, right? Make a play. But as I hit this cross jab and he cuts me off, boom, now I'm spinning back, getting towards the basket, pushing it out. One key here is make sure you throw out that spin move. A lot of times players will get here, they'll drop the ball behind them, and they'll kind of expose it behind their hip. Yep, defender will come back and get that a lot of times, especially if they got long arms like this guy, right? So instead what we wanna do is once we have it here, we wanna whip it and throw it forward to go get it. That way our momentum carries us towards the basket, he can't recover, we'll get a great look out of it. All right, so the next combo we got is the lateral behind the back to hesitation. This is probably one of my all-time favorite combos. I get guys on it all the time. Even if they know it's coming, that's how powerful it is. So it all starts like this, right? It's gonna start out of a live dribble and you're just gonna hit a lateral behind the back where you kick step and go up the line, 
right? So we're basically moving sideways with our behind the back. We're not going downhill. We're not stepping back with it. We're trying to go along the line here. So as we do that, we want to add a hesitation to it for our second combo. So as I come here, I'm going to hezi. I'm going to shadow my opposite hand to the ball to make it look like I'm picking it up, getting ready to shoot. I'm going to throw my eyes to the rim. From here, I'm going to read what he does, right? If he backs off, no problem. I'll gather it up and shoot it, right? If he starts to play this hezi and take my shot, then I'm going to throw my eyes, boom, get by him, go to the rim, right? So from here, it's all about playing off of what the defender gives you. That's the whole key to combos, right? You can't go, I'm going to do this combo every single time. You got to read what they give you. So the hezi is phenomenal at this lateral dribble because the lateral dribble or the sideways dribble pulls him out towards me, right? So if I hit this lateral behind the back and then I hezi, he's closing the space and now I'm at an advantage because he's coming forward while I'm going forward. So we can get him coming this direction. I'm going opposite. I'll be able to blow by him every time. All right, if you want to increase your scoring average and get more buckets, click the top link in the description down below and get free access to my instant buckets five minute workout. It's incredibly powerful and you're not going to want to miss it. And if you're new to shot mechanics, click that subscribe button, hit the bell notification because we got a bunch of videos that are all going to get you better. And if this video helped you out, hit the like button, hit the comment section down below. Let me know what sort of video you want to see. We run pretty much everything off a request, so leave it down below and hopefully we'll be able to get to it. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching. And until next time, splash on.